Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my very cute Sailor fountain pen collection. So, Sailor is a Japanese brand that is in the mid range when it comes to pricing, but I think you get a lot of your money's worth because the nibs are already in the gold plated as opposed to your usual beginner fountain pens that are in the steel nibs. So if you want to move up from your beginner steel nib fountain pens, I highly suggest that you try the Sailor Pro Gear. Um, Sailor also has a lot of other models when it comes to fountain pens like your 1911 and of course the Pro Gear line. So what I have here are three pens Two are Pro Gears and the one at the bottom is a Pro Gear Slim. What I don't have is the Pro Gear Slim Mini, which is really, really small. Sort of like Kaweco um, in terms of its size. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you these three fountain pens from Sailor. So just a quick disclaimer. These two pens I purchased from the Fountain Pen Marketplace. Um, I try not to buy them brand new because in the Philippines, these are a bit pricey, especially the ones with the limited edition, special collections, the seasonal colors, and all of that. And I still believe that the best place to buy your Sailor fountain pens or any Japanese fountain pen for that matter is really in Japan. The prices, the retail prices are really very low and you will also get your GST or your tax refund if you are a tourist. Okay, so let's start with the first one. This is your classic Pro Gear Black. It has the gold hardware or the gold finish. And these already come in 21 karat gold. So if you really want to, you know, get a feel of what gold nibs look like without the very expensive price tag, go for the professional gear. So this one I got from the Fountain Pen Marketplace. It's in relatively good condition and the price that I paid is really really good. I got this for 7,000 pesos or around $130. I know it's pricey, but for a gold nib, you can't go wrong. When I write with it, you know, it's still long enough that it still sits comfortably in my hand. And of course, you can also write posted. I usually prefer not to post my pens unless they are very short. These use cartridge converters, but I don't have this currently inked. So the converter is currently being used by my other pens. <laughs> so I'm still in the process of getting converters for all of my pens. But for the meantime, I just find it more economical if I just switch from one pen to another. Okay, the nib here is a hard medium. But with Japanese pens, they write, you know, a bit more finer than your Western nibs. And they write crisply and smoothly. So I reach for this from time to time. Although for this year, I haven't um, inked this yet. Mainly because I have a lot of fountain pens. The second one is also pre-loved. I got this from the fountain pen Palenque. And someone was destashing it. And I immediately grabbed upon seeing that this is in the rose gold trim. You really can't see it here. But if you put it side by side with the gold trim, you can see there's a bit of, you know, there's a more pinkish tone to it as opposed to the yellow uh, gold trim on the black. Okay, so this was more expensive. I got this for 11,000 pesos. Uh, brand new for this one costs anywhere between 15,000 upwards. And yeah, I really love the rose gold trims. If you are a follower or subscriber to my channel, I have a preference towards the rose gold trim. So anything that I can get my hands on for a bargain, I will get it. So 
this one is also in the 21 carat nib all rose gold trim and this is in the medium fine nib generally i find sailor pens to write really finely and that's why I reach for them more often than my Western nibs if I want to, you know, do some journaling in my Hobonichi. And the last one is a Pro Gear Slim. Compared to the two pens above, you really can't see the difference. But there's a tiny difference when it comes to the length. You can see that it's a bit shorter and in terms of the girth. It's a bit slimmer so if you have smaller hands this may be more comfortable for you when you write in it so this one is a pro gear slim with the silver trim so actually i already have the trifecta of all the trims like the gold silver and rose gold and this one is a gift from my hubby on my daughter's third birthday yeah so he ordered this online and he got this for me and i really love the clean crisp lines you know i really like white fountain pens but they are really hard to manage and maintain especially if you get ink stains and for pro gear slims they have a 14 carat nib so these are cheaper but it's still gold nib nonetheless it also uses a converter i know i have this inked so yeah and i believe that these pens use the same converter and I just transfer them from one pen to another. So I don't have them all inked up at the same time. I don't think that happened yet. So yeah, are there other Sailor Pro Gear pens that I would like to buy? Yes, definitely. I really like their limited edition ones, but they are really, really premium priced here in the Philippines. Maybe when I have the chance to go to Japan and visit my sister, maybe I'll ask her to bring me to a pen store and, you know, go wild, go crazy on the limited edition. So that's all I have for today's video. I hope you find this interesting. If you are looking for a Sailor Pro Gear fountain pen and you don't have the budget, I highly suggest you go through the pre-loved market there are a lot of pens being just stashed left and right so yeah it just takes patience um timing and luck i guess so i'll see you guys in my next video bye